Wait, he actually caught that? I wonder how many takes that took to do. Generic control in the duck goes me. We're back with some more mystery types by Soundsmith. Today we have episode three, the soldier. Last episode was the scout. You want to check out that video? I'll leave it right there. Also link down below description. Also be a place on my channel with all of my other Team Fortress 2 videos. I'm thinking about taking all of the Soundsmith stereotype videos and putting them in their own playlist for everybody to binge in case you want to go through just the stereotypes. Because a lot of people watch one after another after another. And right now they're being mixed in with my Random Friday videos, which I actually just watched a Rec Room for Pizza Part 1 and Part 2 in the same sitting. That video came out on Friday. Um, yesterday on the gaming channel I did, I think it's going to be a randomizer server in Team Fortress 2. That that's really good. The game channel is doing fantastic. These videos are doing amazing. So thank you to each and every one of you that watched the videos. And I hope you're subscribed to some of my future videos and leave a comment down below because I love reading your comments. Uh, and shout out to patrons down below to get the video a day early. Allow me to have a pay on the channel. Insane patrons have a chance to win a signed duck, much like this one. This one is the June duck. So this will be the sixth duck I've given away this year. So if you're interested in that and you want to support the channel, feel free to do that. I'd greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate that. It's the best way to support the channel. But if you can't do that, you don't have to subscribe, like, comment, you know, just I enjoy each and every one of you that just watches the videos, even if you never comment. But I hope you're having a great day. Hopefully, I can make your day just a tiny little bit better. But let's go ahead and jump on into the soldier myth stereotype. Oh man, should be interesting. Okay, dummy. soldier. Call me a dummy. Um, that badge is so cool. I'm so glad someone told me about uh, this. Overused joke about how way too many people man soldier. Yeah, it's good for an yeah. intro. Let's go. I mean. Yeah, I mean, you cannot know how to play soldiers. First character I ever played. This guy can played. go either one of two ways. He's either the guy who wears the armored authority and yells at free-to-play medics in pubs and is the primary reason why new players get discouraged and quit, or he's the guy Five. who wears the honchos and gear into super chill. The hats change around a little bit, but in terms of attitude, I've never seen anyone in the middle of the road. He's either the nicest dude you've ever met or the one biggest asshole the you've ever met. Wow, nice call on that. I, this guy is absolutely wearing the pith helmet and using the bison. 100%. Oh, yeah. I guess I that should is also take safari. this time to point out that the bison's hitbox is still not reverted from the meet your match version and is doing up to 40% less damage than its original state. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Bell, that's 2 4. Fix. I play on 2 4. Please. <laughs> Idiot box set? Oh, it's a set. Okay, so I had a couple boxes? of ideas for this. It was going to do like a sketch or a joke or something, but I couldn't I decide on which boxes. one to do, it's so amazing. I'm just going to put them together, even if it makes no sense. So, yeah, here you go. We don't need a good cosmetic set for soldier. Not as long as we have our imagination. What? Oh, guys in the robot. Equisite. I have seen many different people say many different things about this misc, and it's pretty clear that it's uh, a little controversial. What? Some people would say what? that it's the cosmetic used by the gods of the game, and other people will say that they're all just pub lords who think that other people are impressed by it. I actually ended I've up making a little mini game when I was reading the comments for the last stereotype wow. video, and I, I called it Guess Who Wears the Exquisite Rack? And then I guess a little sub game of that is Guess Who's Salty About Getting Destroyed by Someone Wearing the Exquisite Rack? No, it's pretty fun. Yeah. You should try it with some other upcoming cosmetics. But I guess at the end of the day, oh. Exquisite Rack Soldier. Wait, you can rocket jump really with Cowmangler? People to think good at the game. Or, or they're just a traitor. I don't know. <laughs> soldier stash. These guys are the soldiers That's who are like actually the, uh, good at the game. And, and, and yes, believe it or not, this called? is a misc. It's just that not very many people will wear it as one because... Uh, oh. Yeah. Um, as that far as I'm aware, work. this was the first cosmetic to ever be released for soldiers. So I think it's safe to say that these guys really? are pretty old school and are also the type of people to join a pub and mercilessly stomp it without saying a single word in chat. That's all like me. Kringle collection. This misc has gone through a lot of changes when it comes That's to stereotypes. That's actually kind of cool looking. See, long ago, the Kringle collection was widely considered to be the most overused cosmetic in the entire game. Every Why? single pay-to-play soldier ever oh, God, used this, along with the Allfather and a hat of their choice. But then, well, everything He's changed. So good December eighth, twenty fourteen. That was a long time ago. I was someone high school. I was a senior in high school. Wait, that's the, uh, is that the end of the line? Yeah, that was the second ever SFM I ever reacted to. Wait, no. Was it? No, it wasn't in the line. It was, I would think that was the third one. Second one was expiration date. First one was meet the team, of course. Look at the rubber duck. I have a rubber duck. This one's signed, though. Yes, 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 yes. 
Oh god. Yes. That's right, the end of the line update hit, simultaneously blowing our socks off with the animated short and disappointing us with a duck-filled so mediocre update. Oh, and also this cool new cold snap coat for the soldier came out, and every single tri oh. soldier main immediately switched to it, leaving the Kringle oh. collection behind in the dust. These days, pretty okay. much nobody uses it unless they're doing a Santa loadout or they're trolldering. And it's kind of a okay. bummer, because I really like this one. Okay, that makes sense. Lieutenant Bites. Oh yeah, apparently every character has a pet chill, cosmetic. There's usually one or two things that will set them off. Like, I, I, I don't know, something small. Like killing a friendly or using an annoying bind in chat. Something that is like kind that. Of so awesome. uh, if you do somehow manage to piss this guy off... How much are the pet God help you. Shaolin Sash? Yeah, you already know where this is going. Anime. Actually, the weeb wait, joke. This is Halloween restricted, so nobody wears this. Oh. Huh. Well, Why is the Halloween restricted? Now we're what? only going to find a screen shakes while I play a meme song joke. Oh, God. Antarctica Park. Yep. I want to get this one's a war Antarctica. Pig. Yeah, sure, this guy might be decent, or dare I say it, good, but he's not nearly as good as he thinks he is. You can usually find these guys trying to do rollouts cool. on CP process and probably failing miserably. Wait, what are they? What is. <laughs> nice. Guess why you don't rocket jump backwards. Okay, this one's weird. Cosmetically, this is pretty much the exact same thing as the Lord Coxwain's chops and pipe, but the people who use yeah. them are pretty different. As opposed to the bison-wielding meme lords that wear the Coxwains, Marshall's mutton chop soldiers are usually team players that use a banner of some kind. Or oh, a shotgun. okay. But very rarely gun. Or a shotgun. I, I don't know. Like I said, it's weird. Okay, classified queef? This guy will usually be wearing the spook specs and the man in slacks along with the, the, the oh. boyfriend. He's probably going for a secret service agent kind of look. It's pretty sick looking. Let's go absolutely oh, take no. the bullet for his medic. Get down, Mr. President! Wait, he actually caught that? I wonder how many takes that took to do. Alright, so this guy is either doing a revolutionary war look or he's using the Caribbean Conqueror and by extension is absolutely 100% using the black box conch. Like I've said before, that's I don't one think of the I've weirdest, ever most box. widespread and unexplained stereotypes I've ever seen. Just pirate soldiers using Makes black no box sense. conch. I, 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 just, I got nothing, dude. Yeah, horn blower. This guy is either doing a revolutionary... This video? Wait. Hang on, didn't I just do this one? Oh, God, it's okay, the same hold thing. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, what? Why, Wait. Why are these different cosmetics? They're, they're like the same thing. Why did they make two they're cosmetics kind, that similar. are so similar? Why does this even have to exist? Money. Okay, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Okay, you know what? Fine, let's just move uh, on to the next one. One's classier? Like, okay, what the fuck? Wait, there, are there three of those? This Cold is front another kind of weird one. This guy can't Boots. rocket jump. Well, that, or he does it very rarely. I guess it makes a little sense. Mm. The two soldier secondaries that are focused on rocket jumping, the gunboats and mantreads, actually can't be equipped with this. Inchi, so, no. Inchi, yes? Yeah. What are you doing, step, bro? he has step, this bro? in his main loadout, he probably doesn't rocket jump that much. Yeah, cool. All right, yeah, this guy can't okay. rocket jump. I like how he just, like, convinced himself. Soldier stogie. This guy is probably wearing two other cosmetics that include pipes or cigars of some kind so that he can go for maximum lung cancer. Wait, um, is that a pipe? Oh, God. Man in this slacks. This guy will usually be wearing the spook specs and the classified coif along with the slacks and going for a secret service agent kind of look. Yeah, it, it, it's a good look. Oh, right. God. Get down, Mr. President. Get down. Get down. Please shoot me. I guess they got tired of... <laughs> they got tired of all the takes, I guess. Oh, yeah, how did I know? God bless us, so that's America. so soldier has two pet cosmetic cold snap coat. Okay, like I said before, sick. this is basically the new Kringle collection for soldier. Yeah, when end of the line dropped, everybody wore this. Everybody, my god, it's uh, okay. So, not as many people wear it these days, but this it's, was the try hard soldier coat for a good two it's years. It's interesting, or so. like, like all the really, uh, if there was a basic bitch cosmetic for soldiers, like it would scouts all about like one. school, soldiers about like fluffy coats and like being warm. This guy is Patriots probably the same pouches. kind of guy who wears cargo pants in real life. You know, you, you know, because of the, the pockets. I used to only wear cargo and, uh, shorts. Yeah. Okay. All I owned was yeah. three pairs all of cargo right, shorts. All right, actually, I'll go ahead and sarcastically ago. play the laugh track now. Ah, uh, yeah. Unfunny jokes intensify. 
I mean, cargo shorts, there's nothing wrong with them. The utility is amazing. Lone Survivor, that's okay, a good movie. so this cosmetic looks incredible, but I barely see anybody ever use it. It's really Why? weird. By all accounts, this should be insanely overused, but for whatever reason, it just completely flew under the radar. I don't know, man. Why? There really isn't Probably because it's not flashy. Stereotype. I just kind of wanted to point out how awesome this cosmetic is. <laughs> oh, and also I have a friend who has a strange one of these, and he wanted me to use this video to artificially inflate the price of this, Some... but go, you, you can just go ahead and ignore that. Market manipulation? Shogun Shodegard? Oh, this, this is going to be anime. This is a super ultra mega tryhard, and also a weeb, apparently. And... Uh, also an asshole, and he's also a oh. Mustok fanboy, and also it's a war pick. Jeez, so there are stuff? a lot of strongly worded opinions about this thing, huh? Wow. It's almost like yeah. every single negative stereotype ever got funneled straight into this thing. The one. Yeah, that's a bummer. It looks really cool. You know, it's weird, because if you've ever met somebody wearing this, then you'd realize that all of these stereotypes are absolutely true. Fuck you if you wear this. You are literally Satan. Gotcha. Oh. All wow. Right, so now that I've pissed um, off approximately he strongly feels about that one. watching this video, I guess we'll end it there. As always, I'll be doing Pyro next. So along with your angry Ooh, comments pyro. about how you wear the Shogun's shoulder guard, does he actually get angry comments about this? Mega try hard or weave or asshole or Musel fanboy or whatever? Yes. Let me know what Pyro misks you'd like to see me cover. Okay, pyro that's all I've got for today. Wants. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh uh, yeah. Here's all the patrons. I also <laughs> let's sell out. Trust me, he wouldn't be able to do this if it was not for the patrons. Like seriously. Oh man. Wow. He has a lot of patrons. SFM. But yeah, that's that was the soldier. It's weird because like Scout had like the fast learner and stuff like that. A lot of his stuff was like a vest and like school uniform kind of. And soldier is a lot of like puffy jackets meant for like cold weather stuff. So I wonder if that has to do with like the comics. Or something, because I do need to react to the comments at some point. Yes, I read your comments. I read every single comment, so leave some down below. And definitely give me other suggestions for other shows, because we only have... Uh, wow, we only have, what is that, seven more episodes of Stereotypes? And let me know if you want me to make a playlist of just the Stereotypes and kind of seclude it from the Team Fortress 2 playlist, because that playlist is kind of having a lot of stuff in it. So, let me know if you want me to do that. i greatly appreciate that. Check out the Patreon, the Discord server, the Instagram, the Twitter, the Twitch, all that fun stuff. The, the second channel, which is the gaming channel where I play Team Fortress 2, just had a new video go up yesterday. Those videos are... They're so good. I spent so much time making them. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it made your day just a tiny little bit better. But until the next time, cue the music.